to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this really cute set of metallic nails. First, I'm going to be applying some heart glitter. This glitter shifts from purple to pink and I'm going to be using my IBD 5 seconds nail glue just to glue those on. And I've already prepped my nails and filed down my previous design to a thin layer of clear. So for the pointer finger, I'm going to be applying some of the hearts and they're going to be going in a slant because I'm going to be applying gel polish later on and I want them to kind of look like they're peeking through. For the middle finger, I'm going to be leaving some spaces between the hearts because later on after I encapsulate file shape and buff, I will be drawing in some lips to fill in the gaps. The pointer finger and the pinky will be exactly the same in the middle finger and the ring finger as well. So now that the hearts are applied, I'm going to be going in with my No Lift Nails Primer and I'm going to be priming all of my nails because I'm getting ready to encapsulate them. Alright, now I'm going in with my Mia Secret Clear Acrylic and I'm encapsulating all of the heart glitter. I'm working more wet than usual to make sure that I cover every part of the glitter and if you're doing a design like this working with chunky glitter you need to make sure that it's covered because if you don't and you go to file shape and buff you will end up falling off the glitter like believe me it has happened before that's why i'm extra careful now and you also want to be careful of how much acrylic you're using because you don't want your nails to be too bulky so just make sure when you put the bead on it goes where it needs to go Okay, so I file shaped and buffed my nails off camera and now I'm going in with this silver base by Joy and Mia's Illuminex collection and I'm using my detail brush and the number one to draw some lips and then I'll be curing those in my lamp. So basically all I'm doing is starting off with an M shape and filling it in and then like a half C and filling that in. It's pretty easy, I'm not trying to make it too neat because it's supposed to just look like an outline of lips. Now that those are cured, I'm taking this pink tint from Joy Mia. And I'm tracing over the lips and this is what's going to give it that metallic effect. This polish is really cool because you apply the silver base and then the pink tint over it and it gives it a metallic chrome effect without having to use all that powder and stuff. A set of nails with just this pink would be really pretty but we're not doing that today. We're going for the extra look.
Okay, now that those are cured, I'm taking this silver base and I'm going to be making a slant across the nail and using my cleanup brush just to tighten up the lines. Then I'll cure that and apply the tint over it. I'll be doing the same thing on the pinky, but I'm just going to show the pointer finger because I feel like it's repetitive and you get the idea. For the sum, I'm doing an all pink metallic nail and I'm just applying the silver base to this one, curing that and then applying the tint as well. So now I'm going in with Poochie's Nails Bling Gel in Super Shine Top Coat and I'll be applying some Swarovski crystals to the middle finger and the ring finger. And with this you apply the bling gel, the top coat, your stones, and then you cure them in the lamp and they stay on pretty good with this. Here I'm just top coating the rest of the nails and I'll be back with a close up at the end. Okay guys, here are the finished nails. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and follow me on Instagram at saypolish91 so you never miss an update from me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!